Hey everybody, you guys, I can't keep the date straight. I, to I told you guys on uh, Sweet Home Heaven and on this channel on my devotional, Follow God. It was, I said it was Wednesday, October the 26th, but it's not guys, it's Wednesday, October the 27th. <laughs> I can't keep it straight. And I look at the, I look at the date on my phone, but I, I swear my memory is just, it's, it's a bit scary. <laughs> But anyway, I apologize, um, but I'm not going to remake that video, and I don't know how to edit. Hopefully, I'm going to take me a, I'm going to take me a course on editing, uh, because one, I need to get another laptop. <clears throat> my daughter left my laptop out in the uh, cockpit of our um, liveaboard sailboat in Panama City when we had a sailboat. She left my Mac laptop out in the uh, cockpit, and it rained, and it just destroyed it. I lost everything. And I just haven't been able to get another one, but I'm, I'm, I have an Apple phone. I thank God for, and, but also, you know, um, but if you have a phone, then it just makes sense to get an Apple computer. And the reason I like them is because of their firewall. That it's almost, uh, impenetrable, uh, the firewall that Apple has. But I, listen, it, nobody wants to hack into my stuff. I, my life is not that exciting. I mean, it is, but it's boring to most people. But anyway, I apologize ahead of time. My daughter's on the, her way home. She stayed the night with her boyfriend. She's on her way home. And um, so the dogs are going to bark. I'll just pause because I, I want to go ahead and get this uh, loaded and um, uploaded so you guys can have it. Today, we are talking... Wednesday, October the 27th, 2021, we are talking about DeWitt, D-E-W-I-T-T. -T. Juliet, what are you into? DeWitt Clinton, C-L-I-N-T-O-N. -O um, building with belief. All right, as soon as I said the name of the guy, I know which exactly y'all are thinking. Are they, is, uh, is DeWitt Clinton... No, Juliet. No, no, no. Is DeWitt... She, let me tell y'all what she's doing. We have, like, three three thing, cases of water here. This dog, she eats socks. She'll eat anything. She chewed the tops off of the waters in the cases. I told my daughter, I was like, I'm afraid she's, you know, she's going to get something stuck in her intestines. She knows she ain't supposed to be doing it. Don't you? You know you're not supposed to be doing it. And she minds when I tell her don't to leave it alone. Don't do it. She minds. But anyway, if you guys know if this uh, if this uh, was this guy was kin to uh, uh, Bill Clinton, I'd love to hear your comments. Now it's got me. I'm I'm really really curious. But let me go ahead and let's read this. So I don't want to make this long. Building with belief. <clears throat> Dewitt Clinton born in 1769 and died in 1828, was an American patriot and politician who created opportunities in his public life to put the convictions of his personal faith into action. He believed that biblical Christianity is deeply important, not only to our destiny in the world, but oh. I'm recording, Maddie. He believed that biblical Christianity is deeply important, not only to our destiny in the world to come, but for its influence in this world. To him, serving the practical needs of the people around us was not merely an earthly endeavor, but a spiritual fulfillment of Christian responsibility. Yes, it, it is. That's exactly right. Clinton grew up in New York and studied law at what later became Columbia University. He then worked, he then worked under his uncle, who was the current governor of New York. He, he then worked under his uncle, who was the current governor of New York. Later, he was elected to the State Assembly and Senate, then to the United States Senate. And eight, he was in the U.S. State Senate between 1802 and 1803. As a 10-term mayor of New York City from 1803 to 1815, he promoted causes including public education, city planning, public sanitation, and care for the poor. He narrowly lost an election for president to James Madison in 1812. He served twice as New York's governor, governor from 1817 to 1823 and 1825 to 1828. 
before he died suddenly while in office. Clinton's most ambitious public project, carving a waterway through the American landscape from Lake Erie to Hudson River, was mocked mercilessly by many of his contemporaries who called it Clinton's Folly and DeWitt's Ditch. But just as Nehemiah pressed ahead in his work, despite raging opposition, Clinton persevered until the Great Erie Canal was completed. President Thomas Jefferson had loudly rejected the idea of building the, uh, thank you, building the Erie Canal. Thank you, Maddie. I love you. She brought me food, guys. <clears throat> okay, President Thomas Jefferson had loudly rejected the idea of building the Erie Canal, calling it, <clears throat> calling it a little short of madness and declaring that it was a project better suited for the next century. The monumental undertaking involved cutting a channel 40 feet wide and four feet deep across the 363 mi miles of forest swamps and mountains. More than 1,000 workers died of malaria during a sing single season of the eight-year project. The ca that's just one, uh, one season. Uh, the canal's route necessitated 36 locks to accommodate a rise in elevation of some 600 feet, and engineers for the project required cutting-edge training in England and Holland. It was difficult. Hold on, I lost my way. It was difficult to find adequate labor for the project, but many immigrants stepped in to fill the need. The canal's expense was almost beyond imagination, but DeWitt, I wonder if that's the person that <coughs> come up with the tool, De DeWalt, anyway, sponsored a petition that gained more than 100,000 signatures in favor of the project, <coughs> Juliette, and convinced the New York legislator that the project was vital for the state's advancement. $7 million was appropriated for the project, the equivalent of perhaps $150 billion today. The canal turned a profit in its first year of operation. It led to a population surge westward and sealed New York City's leadership in finance and shipping. It became the nation's most significant, stop, most significant man-made waterway. Clinton drew strength from the knowledge that his Civic engagement was rooted not in mere human ambition, but in biblical principles for work in the everyday, wor everyday world. The ethics, of do the ethics, doctrines, and examples furnished by Christian Christianity, Christ by, oh, sorry, furnished by Christianity exhibit the best mo models for the law, Clinton declared, behind closed doors. Uh, wait, for him, uh, for him, one's faith was not not meant to be kept behind closed door or stained glass windows. It belonged out in the world, guiding our public words and actions, making a tangible difference in the lives of our fellow citizens. Okay, so that I, I, that is really good. I, if you guys know whether they're, they're if they're kin to uh, Bill Clinton, I would love to. I would love to know that. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to look it up, but anyway. Everybody, y'all have a blessed day. I'm going to head out. I'm going to start door dashing. I, I, I got a couple of topics that I, I, would, I probably am going to share with you guys. Um, um, if I can remember them. Anyway, I'm going to eat and I'm headed out. Love you. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.